Christmas. I'm dating this gorgeous criminal barrister, Ruth. She's a total fox. I tell you what, I'm going in with the romance right now. Ah, Ruth, my love. What the hell is wrong with you? Sorry? Why were you standing outside my chamber's window this afternoon holding up a picture of a corpse? I was doing the placard scene from Love Actually. James, I was in the middle of a con with a client on a murder trial. Oh, yeah? They thought it was a death threat. Well, that's stupid. Didn't they see the bit underneath that said, I'm going to love you till I die? Well, it didn't say that, did it? It just said die. Did it? Yes! You scared the shit out of them! Well, sorry, the other words must have come off in the rain. Do tell them it's not a death threat. And what was all this shit yesterday with the brass band? Oh my god, this is so good. Good? Uh, do, do you know what this idiot did? He hired a 20-piece brass band to play All You Need Is Love as I was coming out of court. What is all this shit that you're doing? I'm trying to crowbar scenes from Love Actually into your daily routine. Why? Because it's Christmas and we're dating, and that's literally every woman's wet dream. That, that is not my wet dream. That is a fucking nightmare. And FYI, I cannot stand Love Actually. But you love Love Actually. I, I do not. I actually hate Love Actually. No, you actually love it. No, I actually don't. No, well, then you're actually mad. Love Actually is a rank, fucked up, me too generation piece of psychotic narcissism. Well, that's actually stupid. And please don't say that at the cinema this afternoon. Cinema? Yeah, we're going to the Love Actually talk along at the Prince Charles. Right. I'm done. What? Done? But Ruth, I've got... I, I spent a fortune on the Lifetime membership. Front seat. Lawrence, do you, do you want to come?